Hey, what's up, guys? It's Suarez, and today we're going to for the Tuesday's tip point on art. I'm going to be redoing the chitter text, uh, but this time I'm going to do it in Sony Vegas instead of um, After Effects. So, yeah, let's get it started. So, the first thing first, it, this is pretty much all, how it looks like at the end. It really is the same thing that we used to do, but this time it's pretty much going to be only uh, Sony Vegas. So, yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna redo a project. Um, for this thing, you you'll need something like um, <coughs> you can go into After Effect and render a, fr a fractal noise preset or something, anything like that, just to have something in Vegas. Or you can have the Shafir plugin, and you can use any texture that moves us a lot. For example, the textures noise emboss, which is pretty much looking like the fractal noise. It's not exa exactly the same thing, but it's kind of similar when you think about it. So I'm just going to zoom in on it. Um, 50, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to make it larger. Because I wanted some big um, jitter. I don't want some small ones. Yeah, okay. So then after that, we, what we're going to do is... Now I set it to 10 seconds. So for the seeds, I'm just going to put it at 0. And at the end basically at 10 seconds I'm gonna put it at 5 what this does is because the thing is with this texture is I'm just gonna put it at 4 seconds so <coughs> this texture doesn't move at all it just really it's just there and it doesn't move uh, as you can see it just, it, 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 it's just a plain image normally but when you modify the seeds it's modifying what image you want to have or like what type of um, texture plane you want so if you change it all the time it's gonna be animated and just gonna change all the time so I'm just gonna go back and wait not that but yeah I'm just gonna put it back to um, zero okay here you go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two layers I'm just gonna do one for the background and one for the text uh, so now we're just gonna go here we're gonna go to color I'm gonna take a while, but I'm just gonna turn it gray. Here you go. That looks okay. <coughs> okay, so now for the text. Um, yeah, sorry, I just coughed it all a little bit. Okay, so the text now here is we're gonna do a normal text. I'm just gonna call it wars, but not with an E, but with an R. <coughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna take. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just take, uh, wait, Ariel, I'll just take Ariel, make it like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just pretty much trying to do something now. Okay, here we go. Now, what I usually do with this font is I just like to put it together a little bit, just like that. Wait, not like that, but like that. That's me, that's the preference I have with Ariel. But yeah, okay, anyway. Um, now we're gonna put it 10 seconds. Okay. So now that we have the text, we have everything we need. The only thing we will need to do now is to parent the text with the uh, the texture noise, basically. What we're going to do is we're going to click this arrow. So this layer is going to be part of this layer, which is going to be the displacement app. So each time, we're gonna, each time you want to displace something, you'll just need to do this, for example. You'll just need to duplicate a text or anything, whatever you want to duplicate, and you'll just change it and say, Hey, example, I don't know, I'm just guessing out right now. And I'm just going to move it away because I, I don't want it impile on the other text. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much how it looks right now. Y you see the point. Anyway. If we are going to make a displacement map layer with this one, this text will be displaced and this text will be displaced uh, as uh, it's going to be displaced as well. Yeah, okay. So now we're just going to put back this and we're going to go to here. We're going to go to personalize and we're going to go to card the displacement Sony, which is meaning displacement car map, but the Sony one, the Sony displacement map. So you go to add, okay. And now you have this, which is pretty much the displaced text. Now as you can see it looks really odd and really disgusting. 
So we're just gonna modify it to make it look good. So now here I'm gonna put it at what I usually put it, 0 0.001. I don't know why it's not accepting it like last time. I don't know. I'm just gonna put the one there. One here. One here. Okay, now it looks okay. Okay, anyway. And 0 0.002. So now we have the text, as you can see. So this is pretty much a generic text we have. The thing is, now it's going too fast. Because if I do a render, quick render. As we can see, it's going way too fast. It's just glittering too much. And if we want that grunge effect, as I told last time with the other text and after effect, we kind of want it in the low FPS state, which is going to be 10 FPS in this case. So now what we're going to do is just going to make the texture noise uh, slower at the point where we're going to have a 10 FPS. Because right now, as we can see in properties, it's going to be at 1000. So. If we put it at 1000, which is put it at the lowest, now we're gonna have 100. And now we're gonna put this one at the lowest we can, which is 2. Uh, 0 0.25. Uh, 25. Anyway, so now we uh, we divided the 10, um, the 100 FPS by 4, which is because 1 divided by 4 is gonna be 0 0.25, of course. So now we have a 25 foot of FPS footage right now. As we can see, it's still going way fast, but it's not fast. It's not um, slow enough. So now to get a 10 FPS, what we're gonna do is basically we're just gonna do um, 25 divided by 10, which is gonna be around 2.5, I guess. If you're not really sure, just take a calculator. I don't know, but I'm pretty confident it's 2.5 since it's just divided by 10. So anyway, um, now we're gonna go to velocity and we're gonna change it the velocity so we're gonna have the 100 divided by 2.5 uh, if we do this rapidly I think it's like um, not 25 but 30 or something like that but you get the point like um, if we divide it by 2 it's gonna be 50 and if we divide it by 2.5 it's just gonna be a little more so around 38 it's gonna be alright that's okay so now we have this 40 Okay. Okay, so now as we can see, we have a totally 10 FPS footage of the jittering text. As we can see, it's jittering as we wanted. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it in Vegas. And there is, it's it's not really, it's really not different. It's pretty much the same thing, but in Sony Vegas. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you next time.